Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and I'm sorry I have a bad hair day and I'm sorry I didn't wasn't able to uh, make a video after uh, the win against Cardiff City but uh, 1-0 win <coughs> excuse me a 1-0 win for Everton a grind out win sometimes we really need to win ugly against Cardiff City and uh, a goal by Gilfie Sigurds and put the game away basically that was the only difference and uh after a save, uh, after Walcott shot that was saved by Neil Etheridge and Sigurdsson, good run, right place, right time, and three points, and Everton is in the top six, heading into the most anticipated game of the season, a 232nd Merseyside derby against Liverpool at Anfield, and I have not seen Everton win a Merseyside derby yet. I've seen a few draws uh, last season. And, and, and in years past, but I have never seen a win. I have never personally seen a win. And uh, before I continue, a note on Cardiff City's goalkeeper, Neil Etheridge, who plays for the Philippines. Congratulations on the good results in the Suzuki Cup. And uh, But in the Premier League, I'm against you. <laughs> so Liverpool this weekend, and let's be honest, it is a tough game. Liverpool are one of the best sides in the Premier League. And... Um, they're way ahead of us in terms of where we want to uh, be, what we want to achieve. But um, And they've been together for a few years, whereas Everton has basically been rebuilding and rebuilding and rebuilding. But I feel this year, under Marco Silva and the players that we do have, is the best chance for us to have a go and actually try to win a game at Anfield. Last season, if you think about it, under Sam Allardyce, uh, the first game at Anfield... Allardyce had just come in. I mean, this was actually, I think, the week that he was appointed, or, or last weekend was the week he was appointed as manager of Everton Football Club. And um, we were kind of, personally, I was kind of dreading the derby because of how Liverpool was playing, how Mo Salah was playing. But um, Allardyce set us up to just basically defend the whole game and, and take what we can. And uh, Wayne Rooney, penalty uh, penalty in, in late in the game, basically sealed the draw and took points away for Liverpool. It was the second game that was most disappointing for me, in my opinion, because Liverpool put out a slightly weaker side because they had a big Champions League clash at the weekend. Or, sorry, in midweek. So against Everton, it was sort of like a rotated side, but in my opinion, that was the best chance for Everton in, in recent years to get three points. And it was a big... Uh, illustration of the Sam Allardyce era or, or how it turned out where it really was Everton's best chance to get three points but the game plan was not to go for it it was it was frustrating it was frustrating that we didn't go for it that time and I feel this time with the team that we have in the form that we're in would be the best uh, chance for for Everton to get three points at Anfield which would be the first time it'd be done in about 19 years so it is a tough game, but it is going to be exciting. Um, our form away from Goodison Park has been a little bit, and our style of play has been a little bit different compared to how we play at home. I think at home, in the first half, we kind of sit back and feel the game out. In the second half, you see the team just goes all out. But um, we are set up for the counterattack. Marco Silva has done a great job in, in setting us up away from home in the counterattack and I think that's how we're going to set up against Liverpool at Anfield. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. Um, I'm expecting I'm expecting a draw, to be honest. Um, but I, I would not put it... Uh, it, it wouldn't be that far-fetched to think that we could take three points from this side. Um, just because Liverpool's season is basically they have to keep pace with Manchester City if they want to win the league. They cannot drop points at all um, just because how, how City has been playing. But imagine if they drop points to Everton. That would that would just... Maybe the players wouldn't really think about what the fan base and the internet would, would just go into absolute turmoil if that happened. It, 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 that would be delightful, to be honest. <laughs> but... Um, it will be an exciting game. It will be a great game. My only concern is that we have a rookie referee officiating the match, and I don't know whether um, that, that 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 fresh start, that that whole new perspective, would would play into uh, the way the 
the match will be officiated because, you know, referees who have done it for a long time, they sort of have certain reputations and in, in, to make, you know, certain calls and non-calls and all that stuff. But with a rookie referee, who knows? So I think Marco Silva will go with the same lineup. Uh, Pickford at the back. Uh, Luca Dean at the left, Seamus Coleman on the right. I think he will continue with a center back partnership of Michael Keane and Yerry Mina. I like Yerry Mina. He's quick. He's he's mobile. He's agile. He's strong. He just hasn't been that up to speed yet, which is understandable. He basically hasn't played since you know a few weeks ago. Um, and uh, the the midfield pairing of Idrissa Gay and Andre Gomez will continue. Andre Gomez has been such a revelation for us and um what a fantastic loan signing and i hope we can keep him permanently um but they will continue um and uh, guilty sigurdsson of course operating in the middle underneath the front three which i think he will go the same way with uh bernard on the left walkout on the right and richarlison up top but i would like to see lookman finally get a start but I think he will go with experience here but Lookman did play uh, well in the FA Cup match uh, set up the goal um, that that uh, that Sigurdsson scored in the FA Cup um, he made a good uh, run up the field to give the Jaggi Alka who laid it off for Sigurdsson but I think that's a lineup that we will go with um, I just think for Everton to finally get three points there needs to be uh, we need to be more clinical in front of goal I mean there have been too many times where we've had that feeling of, oh, no, all these chances that are not going in and not taking our chances. But we, we, you know, we get these chances, but we just have to put more of them away. And um, that will be key because sometimes Liverpool can score goals for fun. And um, um, it, it will be a, a very intriguing matchup. So I'm excited for the game this weekend. I'm nervous for the game this weekend. But... We shall see. So what are your thoughts? What are your predictions on the Merseyside Derby? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you after the game.